Hi, this is Shana here at Green Hill Pharmacy. First, I want you to know that we have masks available at the pharmacy and you can give us a call for availability. Second, we really wanted to share this video with you so that you have options and ways to protect yourself. The CDC has provided a way for us to make masks for ourselves at home. And so I wanted to share this quick video with you on how to do so. I've seen a few videos and they leave out a couple of things that I thought were really key and helpful to understand. Number one, I took a household t-shirt uh, and I cut the front off of it. So you'll see the front is missing. And then I cut this extra piece off. I wasn't sure how much I would need at first. They just really recommended like a rectangle. So I cut this like throat piece off. Um, and so I ended up with this rectangular piece of fabric and I'm gonna lay it down with the outside, with the part that I, you would wear if you were wearing it outside down. And then I'm gonna fold it into pieces. So I'm gonna take the back third of it and fold it in and the front third of it, which, and fold that in. And then go ahead and fold it again, in and in. Now you end up needing some rubber bands or you can use hair ties, whatever you happen to have with you. The key is that you can actually adjust this. So when you put the rubber bands on or the hair ties, the length of the fabric will allow you to adjust the rubber bands in and out when you put it on your face. Um, so I put, I just put it in, in an approximate position and then went ahead and I'm gonna just fold it in and fold it in here. And we're at the pharmacy here, so you're gonna hear the pharmacist in the background just doing some things. And I'm putting it on. So you can see it's a little bit, you can see that it was a little bit loose. So then I can go ahead and move these rubber bands in to make it tighter. The key is you really want it to be against your face so that you're not sending any sneezing or coughing out into the world. This is really to capture your own spit and saliva um, so that you're not spreading it to anyone else. Um, and another thing I really wanted to mention, I did this before being on the video, but I would recommend that you wash your hands before you create this mask. If you've touched your face or you've touched anything else, you know, you don't want to bring those germs onto this mask. It's going to be directly against your mouth and your, and your nose. So, you know, for me, I can just go ahead and sanitize um, as well. Thank you so much for watching and please stay safe.